Hey guys, Tim Wilson from Tim Wilson UK here and welcome back to the Golf Club 2. Today we're going to be doing another course playthrough. It was a, uh, a recommendation that came through on one of the comments on my YouTube channel from a previous video and I would like to thank at this point everybody that's chucked courses my way. I will do as many as I possibly can. What I want to try and do and what I've actually put into some of the comments replying to people directly is I want to try and avoid duplication because I know there are a couple of other guys out there. Um, Lee Walker, which is early-1981, specifically Lee. He has some great content, guys. Check out his channel. He's got some really good stuff. He does course reviews. He's doing a legend series. He does some other stuff on his channel as well, but it's mainly revolving around the golf club too. He's got some fantastic content. Check it out. But what I don't want to do is I don't want to do... I don't want to duplicate what Lee's doing. Um, everybody I think needs to have their own sort of place in the uh, in the YouTube world and I don't want to put something out pretty much at the same time or shortly after Lee's done and I'm sure he wouldn't do the same thing as well so I'm gonna let him have his little space I'm gonna have my little space so I'm gonna try and find courses that either Lee hasn't done a video on yet or ones that people have sent to me directly that I would like to have a go on and today's course is by Z the G. Now <clears throat> I want to give a big shout out to Z because he comments on pretty much every single video that I post online. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, you know he's supported me for a very very long time and he was pretty late coming to uh, um, the golf club the golf club 2 on the PlayStation but he's jumped straight in and he's done a few courses he's put some courses online and the course that I'm doing today because he's mentioned it to me and his comment was I've released some courses the two courses at 12 bridges are my newest but the most fun to play is black sand golf club or well, he's actually put cub but I'm gonna imagine that's club Hawaii very challenging greens with tough pins and is very scenic so that's the one that I'm gonna go for today if Z, I would imagine he's going to have played it because it's his own course. So I'm going to chuck him in as a ghost ball. So let's just put Black Sand Golf Club. I think that's probably a, a great shout. Let's just uh, get this up here now. Black. Sand. There we go. Let's just search Black Sand. I think we'll probably find it. We should be able to see Z's name. There we go. Black Sand Golf Club, Hawaii. Had 135 plays. Z the G. Z is an American. So let's jump in to this round. All right. So fairways normal. Greens firm. Greens speed medium. So it's going to be tough to actually hold the green on the approach shot. But the speed isn't crazy. 6,614 yards. Just going to have a quick look at what that equates to on the longest tee. That may very well... No, it's not the longest tee. That must be an average. Um, it may not even be an average. I'm not sure what that is. But Blue Tees is playing 7,003 yards. But I want to add Z's ghost ball in first. Purely just to give myself a reference because I want to be playing the same tees and the same pins as him. So let's see if we can get the friends list up here. I'm pretty sure that he would have played this. There we go. Z the G. And we'll take his best score. I find that that's probably the fairest thing to do. We'll take his best score, which is eight under par. Add it to the group. And let's have a look what tees. He played off the blues, which is the longest. Fabulous. And he played off pin set four, so which is great because pin set four is the one I like to choose because I, th I think most people set pin set four up as what I would regard the Sunday tee position. So let's jump straight into this round. And I'd like to say thank you to everybody that's been uh, commenting, liking. I've had an incredible amount of likes on the videos that I've been posting of late in this sort of new series since I've come back to the golf club too. So I'd like to say thank you to everybody for that. Uh, thank you for everybody that's watched the videos and if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel feel free to do so the subscribe button should be just below the video in the bottom right hand corner with a little notification bell just to the right of that and if you click that you'll get notified whenever 
a new video gets posted. I'm trying to do little extra bits and pieces on the videos at the moment. You've probably seen the little intro that I've started putting on there and, uh, you know, the little sort of overlays of the YouTube messages. So I'm trying to do something a little bit more um, interesting than just posting the video straight up. I'm trying to do a little bit more in the editing. So I hope you guys are enjoying it. I think you are the 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 likes and the views are suggesting so so i'm going to keep it going it's thoroughly enjoyable and i'd like to say thank you very much to everybody that's been watching all right let's get this round underway we've got a a fairly strong wind at 12 mile an hour it should bring this back into the fairway provided i can hit it straight first swing of the day nice Straight over the top of that palm tree. Is it going to run out of fairway? That's the million dollar question. Now that held up quite nicely and it's just held the fairway. I'll take that any day of the week. All right, got to be careful I don't hit that tree now. 134 yards, 12 mile behind, playing 135. Z's hit a nice, a very nice approach shot. My God, he almost hold that. I'm pretty sure he almost hold that. It rolled right round the back of the hole. It's now jumped up to 13 miles an hour. Fourteen now. Wind's getting stronger. Two nice shots to start with. I don't think have I given that enough welly? Oh, only just, just crept on the front of the green. So he played a much better approach shot than I. He's picked up a birdie on the first. Not an incredibly large green. Got a nice bunker in the back. It's got, that's quite nice because he's done, he's done the bunkers in a, a black sand. And being Hawaii, that is a really, really good idea. I really like that. Well done, Z. Well done, my friend. 151, so they're not incredibly fast. And have I hit that too hard? Oh, I have hit that too hard, and that has gone way past the hole. I suppose the million dollar question is if he's done those with that black sand and I've lipped out so that's a bogey on the first hole so Z gets a birdie I get a bogey not the gr sorry he, he gets a birdie I get a bogey not the greatest of starts yeah I suppose I'd like to know how he's actually made those bunkers so Z if you do watch this it'd be interesting to know how you made those bunkers are you able to color the sand like that or have you used a different material because are they going to play the same as a normal bunker so yeah let me know i'm keen to know really keen to know so that's 324 yards that he must be playing with the tour clubs because he is only just shy of the green So two really good drives, but wasn't able to capitalize on that first hole. And that is just going to stay in the rough. So I would imagine we had slightly different wins because he was not too far away from the green. So the tee shots and the approach shots on both of those, not too bad. It's just the putting let me down on that first hole. And that is going to end up pretty damn good. And Z's played a cracking shot as well. So he's going to pick up his second birdie. There he goes. I'm going to pick up my first birdie and that's going to bring me back to level par. So he's two shots up on me. That's cool. All right, so I know that he finished at eight under. I think I'm going to struggle with the start that I had to try and get anywhere near that, but I'm going to do my damnedest. I must admit, I'm liking the course so far. I think he's done a cracking job. I like the fact that he's included the cart pass. That just gives you an aerial view. I pulled that back as far as I possibly can. Let's just change the angle a little bit. Yeah, looks looks very, very Hawaiian. So, coastal course. 
not a lynx course by any stretch of the imagination. We've got a shed load of trees. We've got the wind that you would expect from a coastal course. 180, 177, 173. 10 mile an hour winds slightly into face. Another good strike. Has it got the legs to get there? Oh, no, it hasn't. And that, that didn't play like a bunker. What is it saying? Mulch. Okay, so he's used the mulch to replicate the bunkers. So it'd be interesting. Yeah, that's showing 92 to 96. It did roll back. So interesting choice is it gonna is it how much of an impact is it gonna have on the way that you play this that's the main thing i'm pretty happy with the way that i played that out of there now can i pick up the par yep that's in for par so we both par that hole Not that I want to test out the bunkers, but it would be nice to see whether you can actually plug in one of those mulch bunkers. It's a good idea. It's really good, considering Hawaii is, you know, they're mainly volcanic islands. It's a, it's a really good idea to make them black. I don't know whether you can change the colour of bunkers or whether that's why you use the mulch, but it's a really good effect. So fairly decent off the tee so far. Push that one a little, but I aimed way left to counteract the wind or to use the wind to bring it back into the fairway. So that's turned out really nicely, 318 yards. Stroke index 17, it is a par five. So we should be, uh, should be trying to get this on the green in two. Where did Z end up there? All right, so he's off to the left. I've got the wind behind and off my left. 210 yards, I'm gonna drop that down. Slightly uphill, playing 207, it's playing 210, 11 mile an hour wind, that's gotta be, it's gotta be about right. I'm hoping for a good bounce. That's gonna be a slow swing. That was a slow swing, so that's gonna go off to the right and that isn't gonna be is that going to make the green? It got a hell of a good bounce. I don't think it's going to hold. No, it got a good bounce. I didn't expect that result. I thought I was going to be in a lot worse situation than that. Let's see if we can get this close just to try and force that birdie. Little bit fast there. Hit it a little bit in the teeth. Where's the flag? Oh, he just slips out. Just slips out for his bird. I get mine, so I bring the gap back to one. Z's at two under par. I'm at one under par. Back in the green. Back in the green. All right, 452 yard par four. Into the wind. Nice little water feature there in front of us. Really nice course. It'd be nice to know whether Z's actually used the real course as inspiration for this or whether this is purely fictitious. It, um, it definitely looks like a real course. Um, it plays like a real course. That is going to be a tough pin position to attack. Oh, he's playing a blinder. He's played a blinder. 182, that's about bang on. Hit that sweetly. It's whether it's got the legs and it's whether it's going to stop. It's got the legs. That should come round to the right. It's going to end up pretty much where Z's ball is. A little bit further away, but almost snapshot there of one another. Let's see how he does with his. And he drains his beautifully. And mine drops as well. So we both get birdies there. Moving along nicely. 
two under par, a Z3 under par, liking the course. Liking the course a lot. I would recommend it so far, guys. I haven't seen anything quirky or untoward. As I say, these aren't course reviews by any stretch of the imagination. I'm not putting any effort into over-analyzing it. I'm just playing it. So far, so good. The yardages seem really, really nice. Swinging okay today. I've swung better. I'm not, uh, it's not feeling great. I've had a couple of slows in there, a couple of off-center ones, but when I get results like that where I'm in the middle of the fairway, I can't grumble too much. 187, 184, 183. Wind behind. That's a better strike. All right, have we got the legs to get there? We had a seven mile an hour wind. Looks pretty good. Should get a good roll up towards the flag. And that's gonna stop within about four feet, four or five feet. Z seven feet. Yeah, we're probably about six, five, six feet. Perfect. He drains his birdie. I get mine. So we're both moving along nicely now. So after that horrendous first hole, I've been clawing it back quite nicely. Three birdies on the bounce now. We move on to a par three. Looks like Z went a little right there. He's ended up in the, the mulch bunker. 214 yards, 211, 205, but into quite a strong wind put quite a lot of loft on that so I'm hoping that's going to come down that should get a kick to the left yep yeah, that's going to be a birdieable putt that's not going to be too far away 15 feet 10 feet even better I pulled that, I pulled it, I felt myself pull it. Even though the line doesn't say that I did, I felt myself pull that. Not a great putt. Not a great putt at all. All right, hit that one okay. So that is gonna be the par. We're gonna pick up the par and move on. And Z bogeyed that, so we're both at three under par. I thought he was in for a, for a par, uh, yeah, for a par there, and it looks like he, he must have taken a couple of shots in the bunker. Nice drive, nice narrow cone on the red, nice and straight. That should come back nicely into the fairway. Is this a par five? Can't see the flag, where's the flag? Is it behind that tree? It is a par five. 251 to the flag, guarded a lot though, a lot. Push that one a little. I'm hoping the wind's going to help me here. Oh, not a favourable bounce. It um, it hit the outside of that bank. Was never ever going to stop. Always going to be bouncing to the right. That should come back for Z. Now that wasn't the greatest of putt, uh, greatest of chip shots, but it's on the green. It's going to give me a slight chance at a birdie. And he's right, the greens are tricky. They are tricky. There's quite a lot of undulation on them, but it makes it interesting. You know, dead flat greens would not be interesting at all. So keeping pace with one another at the moment, we've both got, um, we've both got a bogey thrown in there. We've both got five birdies, so we are tracking along very, very nicely at the moment. All right, Z's on the green. Fairly close as well. 179, 174. Into a little bit of a headwind. Oops. 
Once again, pushed it a little. I'm hoping the wind's going to straighten it out. It didn't. Is it going to get a good bounce this time? No, not on the green. It looks like Z's on the fringe as well. I would imagine he had probably put. No, he chipped. I thought he had put from there. Yeah, pleased with that. That should be a a tap in for a par. Z's in for his par as well. So we finished the front nine at four under. So that means he's going to be shooting four under on the back nine as well. So there's going to be opportunities. And I think the first opportunity is going to be this par five tenth, 560 yards. Loving this hole. I love the way that sun is... Uh, Catching that bunker on the left-hand side there. Really, really nice course. And for anybody that's watching this, I recommend go, having a go on this course, guys. Get out there. Give it some love. It's, uh, it's definitely worth a play. Chuck it in your societies. Do whatever you need to, but it's definitely worth a play, guys. Definitely worth a play. All right, this is reachable. I think, I feel this is reachable. Let's see, did this, where's Z? He? Oh, he's just, he's just rolling onto the green. So it's reachable. It's whether I get a sweet strike. That's okay, and it's nice and straight. How much is I gonna get on the wind here? Wow, that was a lot bigger than Z's, and that is gonna, is that gonna roll out? No, it's not. But I fear I'm going to have a downhill putt. That stopped like it was going to be downhill now. It is downhill. All right, so we've got an eagle putt. What does Z get here? Ooh, just misses it. It's not a lot of movement on this one. It is from the right, but it's not a lot. Again, I felt like I pulled that. 32, 33 feet, so it bowled on past that hole. That's for birdie. Definitely a birdieable hole. Most par fives are. Alright, so again, we are tracking one another very nicely. All right, where's the fairway? Where's the flag, more importantly? Let's have a look at the overhead. All right, so it's dog leg left, massive dog leg to the left. And as always, I like to see if there's any other options, whether we can take a shortcut somewhere. use a different fairway or a different green somewhere but in this case it looks like straight down the fairway on the 11th is definitely the right option got some good distance got up the hill so we're going to have a looks like we're still going to pull slightly going to be above my feet it is a z away let's have a quick look how he ends up going to roll through by the looks of it he has done quite a lot of these greens which um, are very concave so in other words you know they're they're raised higher on the edges so if you do hit the edge of the green it sort of funnels down towards the flag which is quite nice this is a par four still 234 to the flag so a fairly long way uh 231 226 but into a nine mile an hour wind Got a nice strike on that. That needs a good bounce to the right. Oh, and that's exactly what I was talking about. Now, this should come back. It came back a little. So that's on the green. So that's going to give me a birdie birdie putt. I can see why this is stroke index two. It's a, it's a tough hole. There's no denying that. This is a tough hole. 
It's only going to need a little, little tap. Get in. Oh, just slipped out on the left-hand side. Not to worry. We should be able to pick up the part, which we do, as does Z. All right, we move on to hole number 12, par 3, 208 yards. Beautiful looking hole. Beautiful. Again. Oh, again he runs right past the flag. 219, 216, 212. Ooh. Nice straight strike. Is it going to have the legs? Nine mile an hour wins. Going to slow it down. That's that's okay. That's going to be almost identical to Z's shot. So we're going to have similar putts here. Look again like they're going to be downhill ever so slightly. Oh, how did he miss that? I shouldn't say that before I get mine in. I might do exactly the same thing. No, I managed to get mine in. He must have just had a misread or something because that was not a long putt and it wasn't a difficult putt either. All right, hole number 13, stroke index. Uh, stroke index is neither here or there at the moment because of the fact it's staying stroke index 14, but until it's handicap rating, don't read too much into those. Um, 395 yard par four, not incredibly long. All right, here we go. That is not going to be a million miles away from Z's ball. In fact, you could throw a blanket over those two. They're that close to one another. All right, 127. Let's see if he's peppering the flag. Don't see his ball yet. There we go. He's going to have about 10 feet. What have we got here? 115. I still think that's too short. Nice strike, has it got the legs again? Yep. Get in the hole. Oh, that'll do, that checked up beautifully. Z drains his, I get mine. Regulation four foot putt, shouldn't give me any bother. All right, so seven under par at the moment. No bother since the first hole. It's been going along nicely, birdies and pars all the way. Right, Z's away. He has played a nice shot. Smack bang in the middle of the fairway. 457 yard par four. Got some really nice distances on these holes. I like it a lot. Should check up before it rolls up. Yeah, it's rolling up a hill, so... No problem there. All right, need to add a little bit more yardage there because that is, that should come back to the right. Another great approach shot there by Z. All right, so I'm on a slight upslope here and the ball is above my feet. So let's move this over to the right. 177. I'm going to leave that right there at 179. A little bit fast on the backswing. Anything that's going to do is take a little bit of yardage off of it. That didn't end up too bad. And again, almost a mirrored shot of what Z's played. I came in from the right. He came in from the left. We've got a similar putt. And he hasn't managed to convert his. Let's see if I can. Haven't hit mine incredibly hard. It is downhill. Oh, that couldn't have missed by much. That could not have missed by much. No, it didn't. 
But it's in for the par. Would have been nice to get a birdie, but in for the par. Right, 165, par 3. Again, look at this. Oh! What? Did he get a hole in one? He did. He got a hole in one. Well done, Z. Well done, my friend. 165, 168. It's playing 165 into the wind. Okay, so that means he doesn't score on any more holes because he got the ace here. Not that I think he would mind, he just got an ace, but he doesn't score on any more holes because he is at eight under par now. I am woefully, woefully right of the flag here, so it's left myself a hell of a long putt, 40 feet, 40 feet. Let's get it up there. Should start to slow up a little now. That's a not a bad attempt from there. I should be able to tap that in for a par. But he jumped from 600 to 800 in one foul swoop. Absolutely fabulous hole in one. Should reflect on the scorecard. There we go. Beautiful green ace. Right, so he's currently one stroke ahead. I've got three holes to play to try and, uh, try and get back in the game. Let's see if we can, can we actually get to that fairway? Huh. Interesting. Question is, what is over here? I might do something different here because I can't I don't think I'm going to get to that fairway not with that wind wind's dropping down let's see if we can take advantage while the wind is lower 9 mile an hour I think it just dropped to 8 as well so we may get there now yeah Ooh, just, 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 just got there. Another cracking looking golf hole. Really is. Oh, I've got to go over that palm tree. Mind you. Look at that. Look at that shot he's just played there. Beautiful. All right, so... Eight mile an hour win from the right. 163, 173. Nice strike. If I've done the calculations right, that should be pretty much on the money. A little bit long. Hopefully it stops because it's going to hit that bank and it should come back a little. Not as much as I wanted it to. That's going to leave me a fairly long putt. 21 feet. He must bogey a hole then because that's him at 9 under par. Oh, I didn't hit that. I've been going so far past the holes that I was actually a little scared of that one. But we pick up the par, move on. Two holes to play, would need to birdie the last two holes. We got a four and a five, so definitely got an opportunity on 18. All right, 226. Yeah, that is why it's given me that club. Mmm, 322. My goodness, how tempting is that? How tempting is that? But I think, I think I would end up wet if I went for that shot. I think I'm going to play this smart. Smart. 
Yeah, I think smart is the smart play here. Just got to hope that doesn't run out of fairway. No, that's perfectly fine. That's going to give me about 100 yards. 104. Now bite, that should bite. Yes, okay, we got a good putt here. We got a good opportunity here. Okay, that's gonna take me to eight under. Okay, so Z didn't bogey that one. He might, I'm pretty sure that he finished I'm pretty sure he finished at eight under par in this round. So he must bogey this par five, which I would imagine the only reason he that would happen is that there must be, is there any water on this hole? There isn't. Huh. All right, it'll be interesting to see what happens here. And it's not a long par five either. Right, 303, 259, how did he end up at 8 under par? Uh, he, is in the, he is in the cabbage there, so that might have affected him a bit. Right, this is playing 259, I've got the wind behind, 235 is going to bring me up a little shy. if we loft this all the way up I'm, I, I fear that I may be out the back with this and I'm woefully right woefully right okay that's not the end of the world it is not the end of the world Should roll up nicely and stop and give me about a four foot putt. Please give me a four foot putt. So where's Z? Where is he? This is where he's he's made a mess somewhere. There he is. So that's gonna take me to nine under par. And I think I think he must bogey that. Yeah, because he finished at eight under. So he must have bogeyed that final hole. But I tell you what, guys give that course some love because I thoroughly enjoy playing that score aside it's a great play it's got a little bit of if you play it with a little bit of wind I mean I didn't have incredibly strong winds you know it ranged from about what was it seven to sometimes 13 40 mile an hour it adds that extra little bit especially on when you've got some trees on the course as well so thoroughly enjoyed playing that two big thumbs up well done z great course creation my friend keep them coming really really enjoyed that if you guys enjoyed watching this video smash that like button i would greatly appreciate it feel free to leave some comments in the box below give me some course recommendations you can see this is the second one that i've done very similar to this and i've thoroughly enjoyed doing it so chuck me a chuck me a friend request if you haven't done so far and if you want to if you've made some courses let me know and i'll chuck your ghost ball in there if you're happy for me to do that if you've yet to subscribe to the channel as i said earlier in the video hit that subscribe button and guys take care i will see you soon on the next video until then bye bye now